because it's the first 15, man, and I am so excited to start this new epic quest line. We have been grinding on this legendary quest line, and we finally made it to one of the things, one of the quests that I have been most excited about. We are, we have made it to the quest line of the epic gaming rig and build review. So for those who have just joined us, make sure you check out the quest line, uh, the quest log. You can check out the quest log at first15.tv slash quests. You can see completed quests. You can see in progress quests and you can see unlock quests that are pending for the future. Now, as always, since you guys are helping me build this channel, if you guys have any quests for me to embark on, feel free to drop a comment, subscribe, let me know. My quest log is never full. I got so many quests to uh, quests to do. And man, super stoked, super, 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 super stoked to start this new epic quest line. I'm spending a lot of time on this home screen. You guys see what we're doing. Man, we're going to be reviewing six, six epic gaming rigs. We're starting off with Falcon Northwest. And from there, we're going to go to a Dell XPS. We're going to go to an Alienware uh, Area 51. We're going to be going to a Velocity Micro Raptor, a Digital Storm Velox. And then last but not least, we're going to be dropping down into Origin PC. So this is the Epic Gaming Review and Build. We're starting with Falcon Northwest. Let me tell you guys about the rating system that I have set up. So there's four ratings for each build. The first rating is the website rating. How does the website rate out of five? Number two is do I, what's, what's the experience? Am I having fun, fun building this Epic Gaming Rig out of five? Number three is options. Does this website allow me to spec the shit out of this gaming rig? Give me tons of options, different things. Man, that's the third one out of five. And last but not least, overall purchase experience. So we're gonna be rating this build as we go through it. And what are we re reviewing today? Obviously you guys see we're dropping down into Falcon Northwest. So if you haven't heard of Falcon Northwest, let me give you a little bit of information. They're based out of Oregon. Uh, they were built, uh, the company was started in 1992 and Falcon Northwest is one of those companies that has, was really close to my heart. And the reason is, and the reason why I wanted to review these guys first is because Falcon Northwest was one of the first gaming companies that built these custom PCs that I saw back in the mid nineties. And so back in the mid nineties, man, I was so stoked to build a Falcon PC. Now, I've never actually bought one, but I had so much fun over the years just specking them out because they're just so expensive. But guess what, guys? We unlocked the achievement. We got 10 grand as our budget, and the biggest piece is going towards building this epic, epic gaming rig, man. So let's just jump right in. Falcon Northwest, here we go. So we're at the home page here. Uh, looks really cool. They got all sorts of gear. You got your mid towers, your your big towers, you got your laptops. Let's just hit up the menu. We're going to be dropping right into desktops. We're going to be building their primo machine, the Mach 5. Let's hit it. The Mach 5 series has been in production since 1992. It's their flagship product. Ooh, that was kind of cool. How did I do that? Ooh, look at this laser thing. And these are the legendary machines you've heard about. A uniquely designed full tower running the fastest components in the world. Liquid cooled and tuned for even more speed, man. Insanely customizable right down to the infinite number of paint colors and custom artwork, artwork options. Ah, here we go. Let's configure it. Open up a new page. All right, so we have two options to begin. We got the Mach 5 with a Z270 chipset and the Mach 5 with X99. We're gonna go big balls. We're gonna go balls deep. Here we go. Let's go with the big beast, Gia. And and we're already starting out with a system price of 3,200 bones. 
I got a little bit of uh, sticker shock there, but it's all good. Let's jump right in. I really like this website. It's really laid out really well. There's lots of colors, uh, big pictures. I'm all about big pictures because, you know, consumers can be dumb. So big pictures, always helpful. Let's click on the first option, expedited build services. So obviously this is telling us, hey, if you pay $2.95, your system can ship in five days. Woo, that's good. So if we're gonna be choosing this one, if we're gonna be choosing Falcon Northwest as our epic gaming rig for this YouTube channel, then I'm definitely gonna be spending some money on expedited build services. Let's click that, bam, all right. Sounds good, chassis, uh, Mach 5 chassis. Don't have any options there, uh, but that's fine. Chassis logo insert. What do we got here? Okay, we got the white light. We got the silver metal. That's pretty cool. Gold metal, copper metal. You know, I kind of like the white light. Uh, I'm hoping that, let's see if there's a background to it. Will be a soft white light. So yeah, so there's gonna be a little light behind it. I'm gonna rock the white light because I like the little shining of the Falcon Northwest logo. Exotics paintwork is the next option here. We are currently rocking the unpainted. We can go with this single color. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. That single color is 756 bucks. It better look good. Uh, if you click on it, it says conflict. Expedited, expedited build service is not available with exotic paintwork. Okay, so we're gonna X that out. Doesn't matter, I ain't spending 756 bucks on some exotic paintwork, but holy crap. Check this out, rain for an extra, for an extra 1100 bones. You get to have something. Actually, that's pretty cool. I'm liking that, man. It's like a digital rain going on there. But man, for 1,100 bones, I don't know about that. Oh, for even more money, you can get flames. Obviously another conflict, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Let's go to more info, let's zoom in on this B. It's pretty tight, I'm assuming that's like actually, you know, airbrushed on there. And you can go with the clouds for 125 bucks down here. Obviously, it's a conflict with expedited. Um, cool. Oh, that looks cool. I can dig that. I can dig that. You know what? Let's go with black. Let's go with black. I, I like to put stickers on my own. Stickers allows me to customize it the way that I want to. Give me a big, sleek black tower, and we will be good to go. Next one is power supply. Cool. So they are suggesting that you go with the 750 watt. Mm, 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 need more power. So we're going to go with the Supernova G3 1000. 1Gs. We're going to drop a brick on this. 1Gs watt. Yep. And motherboard. So we got the Asus X99 Deluxe 2 and the Asus X99 Rampage. So for 192 bucks, I can get the Rampage Edition 10. What's the difference between these two? Let's see, uh, designed to break performance barriers, the ASUS X99 Deluxe is the next gen motherboard for everyone. 256 gig DDR4, let's see, three PCIe, one PCIe, da 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 da. Okay, so let's see what the difference is here. I don't think there's much of a difference here other than that it glows which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool that it's glowing. But uh, yeah, why not? For 100, 100 or 200 bucks more, we're gonna go with the Asus X99 Rampage 5 Edition Gia. Let's go to processor. Yes, lots of options here. We got the Intel Core, six cores, 12 threads, six cores, 12. We got the six cores, eight cores, 16 threads, okay. We got the i7-6950 Extreme with 10 cores, 20 threads. And we got the Xeon. Okay, so Xeon, Xeon processors aren't really for gaming if I remember correctly. Holy crap. 3,700 bones for this Intel Xeon 
22 cores, 44 threads. Holy smokes. Let's get some more information on this. Intel. Uh, I didn't tell you anything more about this. 22 cores. Look at that. Not intended for gaming. Yeah, so we're not going to be doing that. Let's go with the... Um, you know, the the Intel Core i7-6900 with 8 cores, 16 threads. I've read a lot of great reviews, so I'm going to stick with this one. Uh, I feel good about this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Processor overclock. Gots to overclock. We're going to put some turbo boosts up in this. Uh, Aztec liquid cooling. Uh, only one option. Only one option. Uh, when you know what would be really cool, Falcon Northwest, is if you had clear tubing. Clear tubing so you can see does liquid. If you can see the liquid, that's just freaking awesome. But they're constraining us to this build. I'm sure there's a reason to that. So obviously, we're just going to go with the, uh, the liquid cooling that they have there. Standard. Memory is the next one. We got 16 gigs, 4x4 four four gig. We got 32, 4 by 8, 64, uh, 4 by 16. We we are just gonna crush this one. We're gonna do the 64 gig, 4 by 16, 2400 megahertz. That's what's up. Let's see what it says here. It says G Skill Rip Jaws 4 Performance DDR4 memory is designed for the ultimate experience on the latest platforms. Whether you're processing large amounts of data, yes, or intense gaming, that's what we're planning on. We're planning on some epic gaming uh experience smooth system performance with the best memory tech yeah we're gonna go with the 64 gig uh 4 by 16 booyah next one up is video card one of two i will tell you guys right now we're gonna be rocking the deuce two video cards because i want to make sure that i get as much as i possibly can out of this machine i'm thinking we're gonna go with an nvidia geforce founders edition let's see if they have it Okay, we start off with the recommended with this GTX. No bueno. There it is, Founders Edition. I want the 1080. Ha ha, there we go. 1080, let's check it out. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Founders Edition 8 gig flagship. Most advanced gaming graphics card ever created. You got it, brother. We're gonna drop two. So we got one down. We're gonna go to video card two of two. Oh man, I love how this like pfft, zooms in and out. It's just it's such a smooth purchasing experience. Love that. So we're gonna go with two of those, deuce deuce. We're gonna dual wield, dual wield these graphic cards. Next up is sound card. And we have an on, come on Falcon Northwest. Why would I ever want to buy the onboard audio? Look at this. It's just a chip. I mean, the marketing, the differential between this onboard audio, like, piece of crap chip and the Creative Sound Blaster, you would be a fool to buy the onboard audio. It looks like you're getting nothing. So, we're... <laughs> well played. Well played, Falcon Northwest. You actually should do that with all your basic uh, uh, recommended... Uh, uh, peripherals is you should just make it a chip and be like yo you could go with the basic which is basically crap on a stick or you could go with this highly colorful sound blaster uh, card obviously we're gonna get sold here we're gonna go with the creative sound blaster z you know the great thing is even if i get this wrong i get upgrade later so we're gonna go with the sound blaster z faux show networking look at that Come on, come on. You're gonna constrain me to this chip and you photoshopped a little like wireless thing over it. So I'm not liking that. There's a lot, come on Falcon Northwest. There's a lot of different networking cards that you can get internally and externally. Give me some options here. I'm sure there's a reason for this, right? Let's click on more info. All of our motherboards feature one or more gigabit LAN ports that may have, may have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. That's no bueno. Specifics about this device can be found in the product description of the motherboard. Okay, so it may have Wi-Fi. I'm certain it does. It is 2017. 
Operating system drive. Yes, this is crucial. Uh, they're suggesting that I go with the 512 gig. Ain't nobody got time for that. We're gonna drop in the one terabyte solid state drive for our operating system. We wanna make sure our OS is running as fast as possible. So let's see, let's go with, that's our first option. Let's close this sucker and data drive have to have another data drive uh, we can go let's see we got micron we got samsung um western digital okay so these are these are your solid states and these are not obviously cheaper you know we're gonna go with a micron we're gonna go with a micron uh 1100 one terabyte so we're gonna be rocking one terabyte for the os one terabyte for uh peripherals there we go. Get the must-have performance, power efficiency, security, and capacity that will make your mainstream computing applications excel. Sounds good. I'll take it. We'll go with the Micron. So, I want. Do they have RAID options? Because I want to be able to customize my partitioning. No RAID options here. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. That's interesting. So for me, building this out, I would like a little bit more uh, options around RAID uh, because I want to make sure that I can optimize this beast to its maximum potential. So that's not a hit against you guys, Falcon Northwest. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Maybe that's something that I need to call or you know, email you guys about in terms of the options. Uh, next one up is optical drive. Obviously the standard is a DVD writer. We have the options of a Blu-ray reader and a Blu-ray writer. Uh, I'm pretty much streaming everything these days. Ain't nobody need that. 64-bit operating system. They're telling me that I should go with the Windows 10 Pro. I will take your suggestion to heart and I will go with the Windows 10 Pro. Remember guys, I haven't actually bought a PC in probably like 17 years. Uh, a regular, not a Mac, but a PC. I haven't bought a PC in like 17 years. So this is, it's all coming back. It's all coming back. But uh, it's gonna be a kind of a new experience jumping into this because I haven't really, I haven't, I certainly haven't used Windows 10, so. I'll certainly make a video about how that goes. Office software, I'm sure I need soft Office because I'm probably gonna be doing a little bit of, a, at least a little bit of productivity here. Next one up is warranty. That's cool, let's check it out. It says, our desktop systems come with a full three year warranty that covers your systems, parts, and labor. This warranty also includes one year of our Falcon overnight service, ensuring that in the event, uh, it can be handled quickly at no cost to you. Big deal, I like that. You know, I don't expect any issues with this Falcon Northwest computer. I'm sure it is the bomb. Uh, already got a great mechanical uh, keyboard. So the next option is keyboards. Let's see what they have here. They have a Logitech K K120. I've heard really good things about that. The Corsair, Corsair Strafe RGB Cherry uh, silent mechanical. I've heard really good reviews about as well. Uh, I have my my own already, but it might be time to upgrade depending on how much money I have left in the budget. But not gonna choose anything right now. Next option is mouse. I have an epic mouse that I've been using for uh, PVP in the World of Warcraft. It's a Razer mouse, love it, nine buttons on the side, on the thumb. Uh, so no need for that right now, but certainly I might need to upgrade. Monitor options, they got the Asus 21, 24, 27 inch, 34 inch, 28 inch, sounds good. I already got some monitors that are gonna be solid. They're 4K ready. And oh, by the way, super excited. This is actually my first full recording in 4K. We're talking about 3180 by 2160. So we're fully taking advantage of everything. There we go. So we got second monitor, third monitor and speakers. I got plenty of speakers. Holy smokes! This is the first. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually looked at the um, looked at the price. It's at sixty nine hundred bones. Dang! 
Estimated build time is eight days. Um, man, you know what makes this so great? Is I'm under budget. So this is probably gonna be one of those rigs that's at the higher end of the budget at seven, essentially $7,000. I am loving it. Look at this stuff. So let's review and purchase. What a great experience. Oh, seamless. All right, so summary. We of our Mach 5 with X99 chipset. Here's the summary, guys. We got the chassis, the Mach 5. We're going with the white light. No exotic exotics paint work. Don't need that. I'm going to be customizing it myself. We're running a 1,000 watt power supply. The motherboard's going to be the X99 Asus Rampage Edition. We got the processor Intel Core. Uh, 16 thread, 8 core, 16 threads. Booyah kasha. That is a perfect perfect processor for us um, of course we got to boost it with uh, overclocking which adds thanks for this little symbol right here adds three days to the build so I'm certain they have to do benchmarking and testing and all that good stuff uh, liquid cooling memory we're rolling on 64 gig 4 by 16 deuces deuces two video cards Nvidia GeForce GTX 1080 founders edition two of them oh, two of them is Oh, it's going to be great. We're rocking a, a sound card, networking onboard Ethernet. Okay. Uh, we're running a, for our operating system, we're going to be running one terabyte. And for the data drive, we're going to be running one terabyte as well. Uh, Windows 10 Pro, Office 365, and three years parts and labor. Let's print the summary here. Okay, bam -o. there we go. We got it in PDF. Got it in PDF. Seven grand for this epic Falcon Northwest machine. Man, this is so awesome. What a, oh man. So if, if, if Falcon Northwest is the machine I should buy, man, you guys need to let me know. So let's do a quick review of this entire experience. There's four things I want to go through. Let's just shoot from the hip. Booyah, here we go. Website rating, totally five out of five for this website. What a great website. It's beautiful. It has big pictures. It's smooth. It's seamless. I can buy this. I can buy the computer without worrying. I can check. I can make sure I can check extra information for each part totally. An easy five out of five. Good job, Falcon Northwest. Uh, fun. Uh, the next one is fun building. Did I have fun building this? What do you guys think? Man, I had so much fun building this. Five out of five building this machine at seven grand. Man. Uh, next, options. I'm going to give this a four out of five for options. Now, I might be missing something here, but the reason I gave it a four out of five for options is I want to I wanna have more options about RAID controllers. I want to have more options around uh, Ethernet and uh, the, these types of things, uh, networking. So they only gave me one option for onboard Ethernet. Uh, a third reason is the cooling system. I'm sure they have other cooling systems out there that they might be able to buy or build or whatever. Uh, but having one, I guess there's a reason they probably constrained, uh, constrained to just using that one or just using uh, that type of... Uh, uh, cooling system. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a four out of five There's probably something I'm missing here and there's probably a distinct strategy behind Falcon Northwest reasoning for constraining you to these options But in terms of options, I'm gonna get a four out of five maybe a four point the four point five out of five if I'm, if I'm fair everything else tons of options lots of options So yeah, four point five out of five is what I'm gonna give you guys and overall purchase experience. Let's round up Five out of five for overall purchase experience. They even let me download, print the summary really quick so I know exactly what I need to do. I want to press this button right here, which is checkout, but I can't do it right yet because I got some other computers to review. Remember, this is the epic legendary quest of building this epic gaming rig. We're gonna be going over Dell XPS next. So for you guys out there in YouTube land, thank you so much for taking this exciting journey of building an epic gaming rig. If you guys have owned a Falcon Northwest computer, let me know. Give me comments, give me feedback. Say, hey, this is the computer you need to buy. These are the reasons. It's stable, 
performance. It's got everything I need. It allows me to do X. It allows me to do Y. Let me know. The more information that I can get from you guys out there in YouTube land, the better informed decision I can make around buying my epic gaming rig. This is so exciting. So thanks guys for taking this journey. Man, what a great day. So we're going to be uh, reviewing the Dell XPS next. Thank you guys. And I'll see you on the flip side. Jade Serpent guide you.